Hey, it's Sarah, and I wanted to tell you about a country I was thinking about moving to to do speech therapy, and that is Australia. I just, I just want to experience the world. I want to go to Australia because I've never been there before to live. I've visited a ton of times, but to actually settle there would be really a great experience. Part of why for me that would make sense is that I'm actually a dual citizen with Australia and the United States. And because I was born there, I conferred citizenship to my two sons, so they are also dual citizens, and my husband isn't. One thing that would be, you know, obviously as a citizen that's easy, but the great thing about um, the United States and ASHA, the American Speech Hearing Association, is that they have a reciprocal relationship with the identical organization in Australia. So I would not have to go through all the training to become a speech pathologist. I'd just go there, um, get my certification, and be ready to go. Now, the one thing is I feel like it's really expensive. It's like $600 per year. In the United States, it's $300 to maintain your CCC or your Certificate of Clinical Competence. Not much about the salaries in Australia for speech pathologists. So I have some research to do. Uh, so the thing about Australia, there's a lot of reasons why it's an attractive place to live. Uh, the first is, of course, the weather. It would be amazing to live in a place that doesn't get such severe winters like um, all the places I've lived in. Another thing that would be wonderful about that is that as a citizen I would get reduced, way reduced, health care costs and if I have my kids go to college there they're also very much reduced. And what I really like about their plan because my cousins have gone to college and I learned all about how that works is that um, you you, there's a cost, but you don't pay it until you graduate and your income reaches a certain level. So once your income reaches a certain level, you start paying a small amount every month towards your uh, balance. But for example, let's say you go on a maternity leave. Well, your income would drop, or potentially they have paid maternity leave in Australia too. Not that I want to have any more kids, but that's incredible. But for example, job loss. You lose your job, you don't ha aren't getting a steady paycheck, your income falls below a certain threshold, and then they don't take any more until you're back up to where you can handle it again. And I feel like that's more of a humane policy than what they currently do here in the United States, where you have to pay no matter what. And I know people that have like a $1,000 a month payment every month, and if you lose your job, it's, it's extremely stressful to keep uh, paying that kind of money. Um, I know that in some urban areas, the rents are higher. So um, that would be something that would, you know, be something I have to think about really considering doing something new and different and uh, I think maybe Australia might be the right choice for me. Uh, I'd love your feedback so let me know in the comments.